Good morning. Nice solo road trip this morning, and we are now in Yakima, Washington, which is like three hours away from Spokane, which is where I live. And we are in the truck with no trailer, which means we're not getting a car, so we must be getting something else. Also probably the worst day for a road trip because there was a lot of snow, there was two semis in the ditch, one was completely totaled, and probably like six or seven other random cars in the ditch. It's kind of kind of crazy. I'm surprised I didn't water up this morning. So we just picked up the first item of the trip. If you know, you know. I'm not gonna spoil it if you don't know because I'm excited right now. And now we have about, I think another hour drive to Tri-Cities to pick up something else. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you will know. I don't know when you're gonna know, but you will know. Hopefully soon. Depends on some things. All right, let's head back to Spokane. It's about a three hour drive back to Spokane, and then we can do some other things on today's agenda. All right, it is 3.30, and we just made it back to the shop. That was a very, very long day. But let's see what we can go ahead and get accomplished the rest of the day. I do wanna clean both of these engines up, and they're both gonna go in storage for a little bit. Our Harbor Freight hoist just gave up the ghost and it sprayed me in the eye with oil. Sick. So I'm gonna spend a couple hours real quick and finish up this paint job from a few days ago. Give her a nice little wet sand and polish on the fender and the bumper and she should be looking mighty fine. We do have a little bit of dirt to nib out and then we could move on to a polish and one run on the fender. So I just lightly scuff it real quick with 2000 and that's gonna show us all the dirt that we need to nib out. I find that the easiest way, especially on a white car, you can't really see it, which means it's probably not a big deal if it's there, but I like my stuff nice. So anything that looks like that is a piece of dirt that we need to sand out. So after she was nibbed, I went ahead and blocked it out with 2000 grit as well. Now from here, we're ready for 3000 on the DA, but before we do that, I might as well hit the bumper at the same time. I'm only worried about this area here, and this area here, this area here. I'm not really worried about down here because it's clean and because that would be hard to polish. So I'm running into a little bit of a problem and the problem is our freshly painted panels are gonna look 10,000 times better than the rest of the car. This thing is a 2019 and uh, it's quite crusty if I'm being honest for the age. White is so hard to see, but that's the little area we just polished on the fender and this is the door. 
I know if I don't do the whole entire car, I'm gonna regret it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run through the entire process and buff and polish the whole car. So let's get it washed, deconned, and then we can do a quick buff and polish on this thing. There's no way it's gonna get done today, but I'm gonna get as far as I can. We should be able to get close. And it is white, so it hides a lot of stuff. If this car was black, then it'd take a while, but white, thankfully, does hide a lot of stuff. Even a clay on this car is gonna do wonders. All right, today we've made insane amounts of progress on this polish. We're about 75% done. So tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we can go ahead and get this thing finished up. All right, we got the car all polished up, glass included, and we are ready to move on to ceramic coating. Of course, we're not coating the bumper or the fender, but the rest of the car is absolutely mint, minus the hail damage, it's mint and ready to be coated using the one and only Armor Shield 9. Quick IPA wipe, two coats on the entire car for the ultimate protection and longevity of the ceramic coat. So let's go ahead and knock that out and then we can move on.
All right, let's see what we can do about getting this caliper fixed up. It's pretty, uh, pretty messed up, but I'm hoping with a little bit of grinding on it, we can smooth it out, get it repowder coated back on the car. And I'm hoping we do not have to replace it. All right, let's see how close this color is. This is very red. Ooh, that's spot on. Very red from Prismatic Powders. And they said it's the closest possible color that anyone makes to the factory Brembo color. And it does look spot on. Calipers on and bled, and let's be real, not a single person other than me and you guys watching this video would ever know that thing looked destroyed before. Looks brand new again. The very red color from Prismatic Powders is what I use. It's a very close match. I would say it's maybe five to 8% darker than the original Brembo color. For reference, here's the passenger side and here is the driver's side we just coated. So yes, there's a little bit of difference, but being that the calipers are so far so far away from each other they're not side by side it's not nearly as important as like a paint match on a fender to a door here's the overall look of the car this thing turned out freaking immaculate could not be more stoked i love this color as well everything that i use in today's video the powder the gun the ceramic coat with my discount code i will have linked down in the description box below i'll also go ahead and throw down the polisher and the pads and compounds that i was running today as well that was a long day in the shop hope you guys enjoyed this car is pretty much done. All we have left is the seat, airbag module, and the seat belt. And then this car that was wrecked about four or five days ago is 100% done. Pretty wild. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, and I'll see you boys in the next video.